Now let's move on to a complete unknown person, Jorge Ramio. Jorge Ramio is a very good friend of mine and is perhaps the very first person who knew that we're going to celebrate an event on security six years ago from that cafe. We had, uh, he is one of the most uh, well-known cryptographers in the world. He's going to give us uh, a talk about a very unknown algorithm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for having me. Thank you, Roman, and all the rooted organization for having invited me to this event. Oh, why did you tell I'm a well-known person? Oh, it's not this much. Okay, I'm a local person. Let's be humble. I will talk about of RSA. Um, um, uh, my presentation is RSA turns 36 and its youth car has its part. We are working within the crypto network networking and with Indipedia, um, a loop for book and uh, such. New novelties in the coming um, weeks. I want to say that I have used this uh, striking title. Oh, RSA turns 36. It uh, was born 36 years ago. And um, I, I had name it as uh, like this: is youth card has its part. Is this a, a twink? This is um, a twisted uh, time. We want to check how these attacks uh, against us can be orthodox and nice. It's good to simulate to do enactments and simulation mockups in the in, in the classroom, but then we don't know how how um, much they can perform in real life. But since uh, it's ages since there have been um, attacks, which is the lateral uh, channel, who has burst out the last December. Uh, some the authors, the um, Samir from RSA, they had published a document, a, a paper, in which they say that if I start uh, listening to uh, zeros and one, I can uh, de decipher the the key, the password. Um, my audition reaches 20 kilohertz, kilohertz. so um, uh, 35 kilohertz um, um, equaling zeros and one. Uh, through this systems, we can um, decipher and get the zeros and one, and uh, the whole paradigm of security uh, burst out. Uh, they told us that um, algorithms are secure and robust with a very big key, but this is not like this. With this lateral channel attack, we are going to confront the in-depth algorithm in the middle of the computer, no matter how robust or strong it is, or uh, how much or how much bigger uh, their memory is. This, um, there are counter-attack measures against these kind of attacks, but this is the, the gist, this is the, the essentials of my presentations. I will also offer you some mock-ups and presentations demonstrations uh, for you to see that um, orth orthodox or academic attacks are useless. Um, th those, are those attacks on lateral channel are the, 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 the riskiest ones. So let's start our presentation through, as you can see on screen, I will read the summary from the screen. Uh, firstly, a short introduction to the, to the RSAs. It's a very simple theme. Uh, for you to understand. Some very nice things from RSA, simply speaking, it could be um, one simple vulnerability, vulnerability, but it's not like this. This, uh, this uh, uh, RSA vulnerabilities are fun. There are also more orthodox attacks, but they didn't uh, get success. Um, uh, that's why there is not success. So uh, the attack through uh, entire factorization, um, there is um, a lot of uh, development on this, but um, after the, the last attempts with uh, 600 
85 days, there, there, there was no uh, increased key and uh, the, the it duplicates the attack time. There are very, very fun and unknown attacks which are, which are, are not going to be successful, such as uh, those with the 1,000 bits, which is, for instance, cyclical cipher encrypted um, attacks, which are the rings, and there is what you call the birthday paradox attack. Uh, which is it has been uh, applied a lot of time, and these work on RSA because it, um, this allows to do um, a perform a linear attack and you duplicate um, the, the 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 work, which does not happen with entire factorization attack, and you can do a distributed attack. In principle, it's cool, but uh, in the very end, we see that with the keys uh, with we're working with we will uh, lose a lot of computing time in real time. So these attacks in the variant are not successful. What, what are success, successful attacks? Lateral channel attacks, how uh, zeros and ones work on our computer. So uh, I, I titled this presentation with RSA because I have a kind of uh, relationship, intimate relationship with RSA. I, I'm giving lessons. Uh, I wrote a book for them, which is available for review. I can I can give you away my my book, and uh, this is the standard one. RSA is the standard one. What what happens here? Some algorithms we know, such as um, asymmetric uh, algorithm, have to do exponentialization, one number uh, elevated to the other. So mm, when there is very close to the value n, uh, several numbers. It turns out that for us to agilize the calculation, you need to, uh, an algorithm where the binary exponent, exponent is in zero, uh, is a square and I reduce module. But we, when the exponent one, I do a score multiplied by the basis and like this. And the work done with one is bigger than the one done with the zero. We, therefore, this is a, m a bigger consumption. I can see the vibrations from my computer among the, com the, the hardware. I can hear and listen to what's going on. Uh, the, uh, the attack which is uh, done against me. And I can affect the algorithm and directly attack the, the key. Like I said, the algorithm uh, why I'm so interested is because uh, RSA algorithm is a standard working a long time now. Uh, the algorithm 30 is, uh, 36 is a very interesting algorithm because it's very simple. As you can see, it's, it's very longevous. It's a um, 36 year old uh, algorithm. It's not incredible, it's not unbelievable. There are, there are very few people coming back to my early young years. And that time we did the 128-bit RSA. If you want to perform um, a bigger key, which is also military, you uh, left the RSA machine working. You go for a coffee, play uh, the cars, and the key was uh, being calculated. Now we use uh, two, um, 228 uh, key, um, which is useful. And RSA, what? has done in this kind of asymmetrical um, algorithm. They weren't chains, but algorithmically speaking, it is not very much uh, smart. If I say um, that the, the, guy, the guys which are bad are coming against me, I am increase the, the, my, my number of bits in the algorithm. I mean, I'm still uh, quiet and relaxed for some time. So I can uh, increase my bit in the algorithm to, to ha 2,028, but you cannot think of having asymmetrical um, algorithms keys with uh, 8,000 bits. This is impossible. This has been the, the, the solution for the time being, and we are in, we are in, in keys and passwords of about 2,028-bit for our algorithms. Miss that it is is very easily to understand. It's a comprehensive uh, algorithm. There are six of them. We were um, uh, dropped. We were failed their exams, and they have to repeat their exams uh, next coming June. Um, oh, this was a joke. Operations in encrypting RSA is very simple. We need a number elevated to a number encrypted. If I want to exchange uh, passwords, it will be 128-bit number, approximately only uh, hundreds of bits. The, 
when encryption their hubs uh, traveled with C elevated D mod module M after exchanging passwords. Okay, uh, the, the the bank uh, entity receives um, two hundred two thousand eighty uh, bits. So, what the bank has to do, what is called uh, C elevated D mod N, you have to elevate uh, the, the number to thousand twenty eight, which is a long number. So you need uh, the system. The Chinese system has been uh, algorithms. The Romanian subtraction Chinese algorithm. This allows us detecting when an operation elevated to P or, or operation elevated to Q. This way, I will spy on the mm, Q and P uh, keywords and keys. Um, is we are working within a body. The challenges are one, two, three, four, five, six. If it's seven, is zero. I, I move from a negative to the positive one, from canonical to the other one. And uh, the only operation that we should know how to calculate is the inverse, the concept of inverses. There is um, a public key and there are a private key inversely inside the body, period. That's it. There are very few knowledge. You can't confine uh, this body with really super hot bodies, as you can see on screen. A short review of the algorithm. Um, there was a group of um, um, that you can see on screen. Is it like every user uh, chooses a group of n equals to p multiplied q that can be uh, in different. Uh, the values p and q are not public, and each user calculates n equals to p minus uh, one q minus one. I have a passphrase to enter the private key. It's me, the, the one created the, um, the this key. So, like I said, um, um, each user, each user uh, calculates n equals p minus one q minus. Each user chooses the public key, the public public key, and the, in, the, in a way that one, um, as you can see on the screen, minus. To factors to do to do factors, and uh, it's impossible to deal with with uh, one thousand bits. Once done, the the user has to choose a public key. This is false. This is nobody chooses the public key. Is you are forced to 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 have a number which you're going to to see it, uh, in the digital way. The digital key is sixty five thousand. So on everything elevated to. Um, seven. Why is this number? Because it has a very interesting features. It's short. It's not very sh small, which means the private key is going to be bigger, bigger, um, very similar to the module. It, which it cannot be impossible to be attacked by a brutal f and brute force. Several numbers, uh, zeros, and the operation exponential square, 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 square. Uh, only a department of registering is done very quickly. Uh, Twenty over nine is what I'm doing now in RSA. We have a PQ differs from others, and we have different modules. Every user will calculate um, their private key with a, a particular algorithm. D equals invariable. E is a very short number of seven bits, minus PQ, which is um, 2,828 bits. So the, this is the concept of inverse. The private key value will be very close to 2,048 bips. This is the idea. If I have a public key that's uh, like everybody, uh, 65,000 and so on, and have a module of um, these bits, my private key would be 2,048 and luckily 2,045. It won't be um, a 100, 100 uh, big key. I make it will very close to the module. You know that it's kept it in the, the here in the hard disk with the sim asymmetrical algorithm and the encryption key uh, through the pass phase with the hatch. I have um, a secret uh, key to, and I is, is onto onto the, uh, the hard disk. So when my laptop is stolen. They don't stole my my key.
uh, we have the, the theorem of the remaining of the subtraction Chinese um, theme. Um, is kept in secret in the, 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 the key D and is also keeping in secret P and Q with, but for the operation of encryption, thanks to this, like I said, the Chinese theorem and the subtraction is almost obligatory in some policy because optimized in our uh, speed rendition is optimized almost over 60%. Now the, this, the figure, the cipher, uh, C equals N, as you can see on the screen, there are some numbers. Um, some people use the RSA algorithm, and I, uh, let's see, uh, H is um, A4. Hello, how are you? And we're going, we're going back to the lab to, to, to do funny things, to play naughty. And but I'm not going to send my uh, messages uh, encrypted. There will be other procedures, other asymmetrical um, algorithms, because symmetrical uh, systems are very low, slow. You can see, as you can see, an N number, which is which can be a, a key session. Um, if I do this, uh, the digital signature with the hash function, with SHA-1, sh a message D within hash, because they are very slow systems. If you, if one wants to discover it and decipher the whole book of Quixote, um, so until the operation gives you the, the signature, uh, is like this. Oh. Uh, you can see now my um, the children when we were young and, and time goes by for everybody. Now what's the fortress of for RSA? Basically speaking, we can see that the very first one, you can see uh, somebody in sl sliding through, slipping through. It's a very slippery ground for us to factorize the value and be uh, multiplied by P and Q because one thousand bits the Computing time is excessive, and it's uh, almost impossible to um, match it with a real time map. Even though you have a fabulous uh, network supporting you, um, it's impossible for us. Uh, parallelization, as you can see further on, is that the paradox of the birth date. It has over 100 or 200 pieces not working. So um, it's a slippery ground. Is also the cyclical attacks uh, are slippery, or the direct uh, attack against the, the 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 secret key because we can prove many things, but in the in, in practically speaking, the algorithm won't collapse. It's me who is going to s s slip in on it because I want to able to uh, to find this uh, this password. Uh, undetermined uh, danger is what is called lateral channel attacks. You can uh, hear how bits were in at the very moment I'm doing encryption. I have the, uh, the, the, the clear text, uh, interesting for me. And I use a lot of encryption with the, the, pass the private ca uh, key, a password I'm trying to crack. When you find a pattern, a, a performance in my computer, of how m much my um, uh, computer is consuming is what is done in the States how much noise is, is coming from my uh, computer, even though the back, background noise is about 5 kilohertz through 30 kilohertz. There are also 100 kilohertz, but we, all, we only, uh, it, it, it perhaps it, with the, it's, it's a dog who can only uh, turn on his ear onto the, the computer and, s and to, to sniff through and, and, and prick up their ears onto the computer. Um, cyclical scripting attack, how is it done? With a P is a basic nor normal of uh, asymmetrical encryption. Everything is done, with, which is when a key is used for one thing, a private one or a public one, only with your private one you can uh, encrypt it by server. So if I send something with my private key, I, uh, all of you have my public key, and what I send you is authentic. Um, it is, um, it must, this is f a lie. I can encrypt something with the public uh, key of the victim, and, and I can do many operations until I find the message. I can crack the, the secret without annoying the private uh, key. This seems very interesting in principle, but the problem is that when we have a very big n figure, the, this is doesn't work because the computing capacity is impossible to be reached. But the, the paradox of birthday attack, if, if it's a prosperous attack, 
if it's successful, what we find automatically is the private key or other things similar. Let's now ask ourselves 11 questions. Very first six ones are not going to be posed uh, here through a demo. But there will be on the document to be published on the internet on the date you can see next um, coming uh, Monday. If I'm still alive after this um, show. So there will be uh, 11 questions and there will be some demos for the next ones on the computer. Can I uh, choose the, 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 the first numbers, P and Q, of the same value, the prime numbers? First question, can I choose the prime numbers, P and Q, of the same value? No. Is that? Can I choose as the public key E, the value I want to know, because the value uh, public E is that between E and the, the tricky uh, body, the maximum common divisor equals one to first to have the inverse. And since in the space, the, the size, there must be between the number two and F minus one is practically is the module. F view is like this. I can have a range, a key of 2,048 bits. I may get uh, public keys of 2,000 uh, bits private one, and the private one would be 50, 50 bits one. So um, I can crack it through a brutal force. I, this is not feasible. So it's like this. Um, should I be worried? Oh, it's next question. Uh, should, uh, will be all number, secret numbers uh, encrypted that can be generated with a session key? It's supposed to be yes, but no. There are such numbers not encrypted ele and elevated and um, capital letters, the initial, which is equal zero, uh, minus one. It's a full round of numbers. If I don't take care of the, the design, the, the prime spear and Q numbers, I can have 20, uh, 20,000 number key. Oh my god, my god, I don't like it at all. In fact, opening CSLs, people have mm, didn't care about this. Um, pr they don't use um, prime numbers which, which are um, high and strong. Because I'm telling you, because you're going to understand me, if you tell this to your bank manager, be careful because your key can. can can be like this, so it's he's paranoid. You don't have to be worried about the question number four because the question we are going to generate would be 128 bits for, um, for this, this encryption. This is a number, uh, is the one with the private uh, key in the bank, and this has uh, values, nine values. The possibility of the likelihood is almost infinite. It's not feasible. Trying to, to, to find out the key until we are we all die. So no worries. There are numbers in clear. Is th if there is a public key, there is also a private one. It's, it's, this is false. This is mm, uh, true in the the body of them. But here we calculate the private and public. A key in the tricky body, but with then encryption in N body. We change from Angelina Jolie to Brad P or from Brad P to Angelina Jolie, perhaps depending on if you are a man or woman. What's the problem here? Is that the in body N things change when in a different movie and uh, is not only a private key for us, there are also one extra more. In the last, uh, in the latest releases of OpenCM, it's difficult. Uh, to find three, four, five keys, but I have keys from some years ago, ago when we got uh, 4,000, oh my gosh, I don't like it, a private key with another 4,000 uh, keys doing the same. Why not? Because it turns out that due to the concept of inverse, and uh, I don't want to mess around with this, mathematically speaking, this private um, uh, keys will be in a nebulous uh, ether atmosphere and uh, say so if I chose a bad key from 30 years ago or 10 years ago and uh, the, the smallest one number would be 2030 bips it are all in uh, the same nebula up there 
the likelihood that I can find a number of um, 1,040 bits impossible for us to for us to, to, to get attacked with a, a brutal force attack, this is not feasible. But only if it were um, uh, 56 bits, 180, 128 bits is perhaps possible, but over that cipher, a figure is absolutely not feasible. Second part on stream, I will, if we are good on time, uh, can, can I show you some demos, demonstrations? Now, The secret is exchange is a value if we don't know the private key in destination. No, this is no, this is not possible. I stole the, the victim's um, value and I elevated to the 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 value of the the, the the victim. So, what is going on here? What am I going to do? I put the cryptogram in the public uh, key and the, the, I get the result and vice versa until I can see if I get the same number with, I, with, with which I started. And uh, in this case, I broke the secret without cracking the key. Next question, question A. In the attack of by cyclical uh, encryption, if the result of the, the figure turns out to be encrypted with the same parameters, if the operation is repeated several times, we uh, run through the whole body. Let's imagine I have a number of uh, one million numbers. No, it is, this is not uh, true because I will create thousands of uh, rings and I, I can fall into the smallest ring and um, I can get a number inside that ring. I can, I can only remember one. 130 numbers. I did. I don't need to move around all the millions of um, numbers of the key. So, uh, question nine: Is this feasible for the attack? Uh, is the, the attack is feasible through the factorization, the entire factorization for real real keys? So, uh, but about this number is is not feasible. So no, the answer is no. All the attacks. I say NP, NPR polynomial attacks. If I double the the the, the, the double, if I double your door front entry, uh, you. So that's the, the process. Two digits. I'm working one uh, second. So two digits. I, I, it takes me thirty or twenty minutes. A number of um, nine digits, and it takes me um, one hour and a half. There's an exponential curve, and I, I can find it up there. Oh, it's. Gosh, it's impossible to reach it. This is called the NTP uh, attack. These attacks for cyclical uh, attacks uh, are linear attacks. Unfortunately, they work with very, very long uh, keys and they are not successful and are also distributed. The last question, 11. The attacks of lateral channel have no future? No. That's why uh, the problem for all algorithms using the operation of exponentiation, which w I'm working with the exponent in the private key, and I, when I digitally sign something, zeros and ones, and um, and I do operations. And so I, I don't care attacking a key of 4,000 or 8,000 or 10,000, because I'm just reading this frequency, which is on the 30, 30 kilohertz, approximately. Is the, uh, does it mean that algorithms are broken? No, it's the implementations which are broken. They have to be implemented in a very, in a very different way. So let's move on to this example on screen of what uh, um, a broken secret is without knowing the private key. There is, I have a student in, uh, is in phase beta, and you can, it's difficult for us to see in this slide on screen, but we can do a demo with 30 bits in a very quick way. I'm moving on here. I got it. I got it. So you got it on screen. I got it. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 
uh, automatic keys, 30 beeps. Oh, let's go with um, 20, which is quick. I generate a key. I, I want to uh, have a cyclic attack. Cyclic attack, lateral way. The attack starts, uh, it's fine. Um, the key, instead of uh, 800, it was some um, 40,000 and so on. What, it wants, what we can see on the screen uh, at the bottom, at the, at the, ba at the bottom of the, the, the page, we can see the, per the body percentage, which is uh, one per thousand. I have to run a little space to do this attack. Following this topic, let's move on to the sl slice again. Next slide. Uh, rings are generated. Uh, I have five rings. Five? Two, 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 two. Uh, it means that I, I have, I have <laughs> astigmatism. It's there are two rings. Uh, rings are created. What, that, what do rings mean? At a certain moment, I can tell the, the software. Do the perform this operation. Take all the numbers corresponding to this body. Let's suppose you have the, the body seven plus uh, eleven seventy-seven. And what happens if I take a number elevated to the public uh, key or any uh, key? I reduce the module entry to the public uh, key and do operations. And when this um, ring is closed, we can see many uh, rings coming on. You can see on the screen this very short uh, key. Of we have um, two, two, two thousand, two thousand um, rings uh, in length. Two thousand six hundred in total. Twelve thousand rings. I can break this uh, ring. It's something unknown until this moment, but it can be done with the. The discover how to to create these rings. We are running out of time. I can mm, get the graphic and the the, the chart for all these rings. I can get it in a very quick time. Um, entire factorization is not mm, to be tested here because I'm running out of time. Miss uh, Miss one five one program with a home uh, computer. Uh, I can break. And uh, 300 beeps um, number, I can break it in half an hour. Uh, if I have some, a more computer, um, a computer, I can break it uh, quicker. But if I use um, a, a super powerful uh, computer, it's not um, breakable. So as you can see, I have a snapshot, and it creates uh, the um, file mcs.log. You can get the log of how this point has been found. Now the, the paradox of the um, birthday and local uh, service is a very interesting thing because it allows you to perform an attack to, key, to break the private key without knowing nothing, without knowing anything of the the, the, uh, the attacker, only the, the public key. I don't have to um, capture a message whatsoever. This is my, um, this I want to pick number two or number 2,000. I do a simple thing. I take mo module M, divided in two parts, right and left. Big numbers, small numbers. Uh, so the, the, the small ones in J and others in K, then the, the J are in, in a different uh, range. I take this new attack, the um, 2,400, and it's elevated to minus N medius of Js. The result, if, that, if the results don't match, uh, the counters are incre increased. Um, plus one, plus one, and I perform the same attack, elevated to three and uh, elevated n medius. In this case, I have to s s look for uh, if the last number of the chase is, has collided with the first number of the e, so vice versa. If, if it's the, the vice versa, if j's have collided with e's. The, uh, this implies that I can parallelize size. I can do parallel things to those wh which are E's are J's. And J's, I move the, the values of the, 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 the other and vice versa. And I can do in the laboratory uh, 
perfect skills is divided by n and perfectly. This is a small example by using the paradox of the birthday. And um, with Java, I hope this is going to be uploaded on the internet. And we have that client, which uh, I, I, you can't see it, but it I took me 10 hours to find it. This can be uh, done with a local host, but it's better to do it with the MTB in a in laboratory. That's why we use this high performance data center in Vallex 2 neighborhood. It's cool, but it's not uh, this nice in reality, but it's not, it's, it's very thick. Uh, I have been working 20 times with this program, and 20, 20 per PC is working with this program. Every PC has to indicate that you have the NTP from the server to attack, to be attacked. The server uh, uh, distributes equally uh, this job to everybody. The one having more computing capacity will be given more packages. And we won't do this because we're out of time. But you can find the number of time, and time is uh, 28 minutes. So. So divide and you will win. Uh, instead of being in Vallecas neighborhood, I have a, uh, this might have a super computing center. Right? It would be good fine for me to, to test it. Perhaps we'll get closer to uh, uh, smaller uh, bits, keys. It's interesting, but it's not going to be on some uh, practical software um, f to be uploaded on, for an internet for you to, to play with. Now, uh, lateral channel attack. We can see the the, the sound of si the, the, the Garful Garful can long play the sound of silence. Many children were born after Simon Garfunkel uh, songs. This one, the sound of silence. Roman, w did you were you born out of this song? Uh, zeros and ones is the computing time with, uh, with the, the consumption of our battery. Zero consumes less and one consumes a lot more because zero is a square and one is a uh, square plus uh, base module. This requires time. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's not that easy. You need to know the, the, the frequency between um, 30 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz for a geek based computer. These telecom people uh, from our same. I, has, I stole the, the, the from them the pictures uh, up, st up and down. I tried to listen the, to the, the, the noises coming from these zeros and ones in the computer, and I found it. it the, the trouble is that it, this turns into real danger because um, a, every key can be developed. These people have, have done it with a mobile phone which capture the, the key from the computer in, in the, on the website. There are 50, 15 faxes where um, you say the, the, the type of attacks that you can perform. And, and uh, for instance, those systems are well protected. But um, you put the, the mic there, the, the, the fan, and you can uh, capture what bits are doing inside the computer. And we will. Uh, we'll be distrustful of these people? Let's see. The solutions, okay, Tempest is the solution. Uh, Tempest tries to avoid the radiomagnetic uh, radiation. You can see this YouTube video as how the, as to how the, the password is um, captured, or implementation, other option. Uh, I say, I, I can easily say, oh, I implement. When I do zero, I will uh, do two zeros, and the second one is eliminated. And you put fake things in between, and if in a body of uh, 5,000 bits, if there are some uh, random bits well uh, collocated, it would be implementation. Another attack in, in between, Samir, is done with the, the living together of these things. Uh, against RSA through UPG, which is automatically is the patch on it, and the last and the latest release it's been implemented. The capacity that is not been affected by this kind of attacks. That's it. So please, let's not be paranoid. Uh, perhaps in the coming future, um, 
if we generate uh, energy in the, in the brain, and there are also neuronal ones, the synapses uh, can put some chip in the neuronal synapses, and, and they can read our, our thought. It would be funny that there will be a movie all around. So these are my uh, references for you to check where you can extract information from. And I'm available for your questions, should you have any questions, or in the breaks. Thank you very much for your attention and attendance. Well, hello over there. Over there. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Very firstly, congratulations. A terrific uh, talk. But unfortunately, I didn't understand most of your presentation. Sorry to say, I, I, I'm not telling lies, but I, I couldn't understand many of the things you say. The, your talk has been very interesting, even though. For those, of the, for those who are paranoid, would it be feasible for do a USB generating noise in that frequency to avoid being listened by a phone? Um, and uh, so um, how can we generate this kind of noise? Of course, authors, they, they say so. In not any kind of uh, noise, you can, uh, that, okay, the noises are zeros and ones are, z zero is uh, 35 kilohertz and one is um, bigger. There's also a, f a frequency which is captured, which is the harmonics, the harmony. So um, it, it participates the, within this frequency. Any external noise can be filtered the in. The, the, the noise from the fan it doesn't, it doesn't work. But if there are noise in the program, the software, that's why one external device uh, USB generating noise at these frequencies in such a way that processor continues working, but you have a mobile phone trying to uh, wire tapping, um, can get this uh, noise from different devices. You can create a USB, US, USB for paranoids. Yes. Noise can be um, through the um, electronic components vibration. But noise can be through the the exit, the BGA uh, outside um, uh, USB. You can change the, the 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 part of manufacturing or the part of uh, uh, implementation. But you can get all these noises to mask the whole thing. When you are going to introduce the the phase of um, pass, you activate that in such a way that the magnetic radiations from the keyboard are not detected for, for the person uh, beside you. This generates white noise. Thank you, thank you very much. Hola, Jorge, ¿y se podría hacer un parche de software? Es decir, tocar la... A software um, patch for you. To, to, when the moment you are computing one and, and zero, when this gr graphic is um, applied, yes, yes. The, the only trouble, and I'm not a software developer. Perhaps I can make up something. Uh, as I r read, you can touch uh, the computer. But you can touch the noisy uh, computer, and the, the heat uh, on the computer dis it dissipates and m moves to your body, and then to the to the, the, the ground, and you can mix up and mix zeros and ones. It's like science fiction, but it's like this. You the only thing, like I said, it would be dangerous for us to, uh, somebody in the, in the tube station or in the, in the metro, somebody um, um, with your program, with a key, they can create Trojans where the Trojan does, it's listening to your computer. It's not a keyboard, it's not a keyload, in a scream road, is the, they're listening to your computer through the Trojans. It's a, it's a, it's a trendy topic, and it's, it's in fashion, all this kind of espionage. Thank you very much, Jorge.